Hey everyone, welcome back to another Adobe XD tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you guys how to make these amazing hover plus scroll animations in Adobe XD. They are very simple to create and it will take us less than 10 minutes to do it. So without further ado, let's just get started with this tutorial. Before we get started, I now have an Instagram profile. So if you want to follow me there and support me there, I will really, really appreciate that. At Puneet Chavla official. Go and support. So for the first animation, we'll just create a basic artboard. I, I'd say just create a 690 by 690 artboard. It's as simple as that. And inside here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a basic rectangle to start off with. I will change the border radius to about, I don't know, 50, 50 should be fine. And I'm going to change the color to a particular uh, blue, which I, pr which I prefer a lot. This is the kind of blue that I like and uh, 50 is too much. What we'll do is we'll try 25. Yeah, 25 is the perfect size for this one here inside. I'm going to place a text which says select city. It could say select country or whatever you like. I'm going to change some of these settings. I'm just going to make sure that the text is now white. I'm going to use the font Nanito Sans, which is one of my favorite fonts right now. And maybe I'll make the text bigger. Just drag this little handle out a little bit just to make the text slightly bigger. Perfect. For my icons, I generally prefer this site called remixicon.com. Uh, on this, I'll just say down. And here, if I go down, naturally, I will find some of these arrows. I'll pick up this arrow down S. And as you can see, there's a really cool option which says copy SVG. That's all we need to do. And if I go back to Adobe XD, I say command V or control V to paste it. It's already pasted that icon for us here. So as you can see, this icon is here. I'll probably change the size from 24 to make sure it's something like 40. In this case, since the artboard is much bigger, sometimes scaling it up is difficult. So just manually scale it a little bit and place it inside here like this. And also make sure this color from the right is actually white. That's the best part about SVG. You don't really need to, you know, download the exact color. You can change it anytime. The next thing that I need to do is create a quick list. I can easily do that if I just place one text here. I'll make sure that the color is 333, which is not completely black, but it's kind of like a dark gray. Perfect. And here I'll say something like Delhi. And what I can do is create a, a large list like this. I can select the text, go to this repeat grid option on the top right. And what that does is if I drag these handles here, it just multiplies these as we go. So I can quickly just change Delhi to uh, Mumbai in this case. So I can change the list items manually and I can say uh, Bangalore and any any other city that you want, a local city if you may. Uh, what other cities do I have? Chennai, uh, <laughs> Gurgaon, stuff like that. Just Just something really quick. So once I have a quick list here, I can always say command shift G or control shift G to ungroup this so that we now have a simple list right here, just like that. I'm just going to remo remove any other uh, list items here. And what I'm going to do here is very, very simple. I will basically, I will basically select all of these and say command X or control X and inside this group, go inside this group and paste it. So now this is one large uh, group in total. Now what I'm going to do is very, very simple. I will select this entire component here, go to the right. And as you can see, there is a element that says vertical scroll right here below the height value. If I click on that, as you can see, now we have these simple handles here. What I can do is just drag this handle out like this so that everything is now hidden. But in reality, if I go into my preview here on the top right and it opens up this preview, uh, I can just drag and as you can see, it is dragging across all this text and it's actually scrolling in this case. To give it that whole hover effect, what I'll do is select this scroll group here and I'll say command K or control K that will convert this into a component just like this. And on the top right, there is a add state button. I'll click on that. And under this, I have an option called hover state. I'll change. I can change this name to anything, but for now, hover state is fine. While hover state is selected, what I want you guys to do is double click on this blue uh, element here, which is this rectangle. And inside this, just change the color from blue to something like a white. Perfect. 
and just bring it down so that it covers everything till Gurgaon just like this. Also make sure that the text color and this arrow color is now uh, this that similar blue that we chose earlier looking good and I will also do one more thing is rotate this icon here just like that to give it added effect that there's depth to it what you can do is basically uh, add a shadow by selecting this rectangle here and go to this right option which says shadow under shadow I can change it from 2 to 10 and from in the B value I can change it to something like 24 and reduce the opacity a little bit to make it slightly softer looking. Uh, see how it looks, but as, as you can see, it's not perfect right now. What we'll do is select the scroll group uh, while hover state is selected, of course. And inside scroll group, I will just drag it out till I see at least two, three values uh, so that I can then move on to scrolling, just like that. If I go back to default state, as you can see, it is now back to the default state. If I play this now, Ooh, as you can see, it's animating perfectly and I can drag down to basically see the list and I can drag back up or scroll back up to exit. And as you can see, if I hover over it, it does that. If I move away from it, it basically comes back to its original state. For the second cool animation, what I'm going to do, I'll just delete this value, no issues. And for this, I will, I want this artboard to have a slightly grayer shade, something like this. Perfect. And now, now I will bring a circle in by clicking E and dragging out. Um, I'll place it in the center of this artboard, perfect. And I will remove the border whatsoever. And what I'll do is also, I will make sure that this is slightly darker gray, not too dark, just this, this much difference should be there, perfect. One more thing that I'm gonna do is duplicate this rectangle, I'll tell you why in a minute. And also what I'm going to do is click on the pen tool. For that, you can either click on this pen icon on the left or just click on P on your keyboard. Once you've done that, just drag one, two, three, right across the top left of this circle and enter. As you can see, now we have these three anchor points. I will click on the middle anchor point and double click on it. So now as you can see, we have this circular anchor point or this circular uh, line here, just like that. What I'm gonna do is also increase the border size on the right, there's this size option, I'll change it from one, to something like six or maybe eight, perfect. Uh, and also increase the this to like a black, that's perfect. So once I've selected this on the right, there's this option called background blur. I want you guys to just select this right here, make sure there's no fill, It for some reason it just activates fill here, which is strange. So background blur, I'll click on background blur and I'll get this option called object blur. I change it to ob object blur. And as you can see now it's blurred it out like this. Reduce the blur value a little bit, maybe to something like 20. 20 should be fine for this artboard, perfect. For the second step, I'll just duplicate this circular line here and just rotate it such that it covers only one side of the circle like this on the bottom right here. Change the color from black to a pure white and also you know, make sure that the opacity is 100 and maybe reduce the blur value also by, you know, maybe to like 12 or something like that. Perfect. I will now bring this duplicate uh, circle, which I had duplicated earlier, make sure it's in the center and I'll make sure it's at the top now. So ellipse six is above everything else. What I'll do is select ellipse six, path 26 and path 25, which are both these paths. I'll right click and I'll say mask with shape right here. As you can see now it's masked with shape. Uh, I can then go on further by, to adjust all these shadows and all these values right here, but that's up to you guys. Now what I'll do is place text over this one. Uh, I'll probably change the color to something like just a pure black or something. And I'll increase the font size, of course, just by dragging this out. That's the best part of, about XT. You can just drag out to increase the font size. Also, I'll just duplicate this just like this one. Mm, what I'm going to do is just select all four of these values. And just like we did before, go to the right and click on vertical scroll. And what I'm going to do is just drag these handle out and bring it close to this the edge of this circle. I know circles don't have edges, but you know, you know what I mean. Now, if I go to this artboard and I just click on the preview on the top right, as you can see, if I scroll through, it seems okay. Oh, oh, okay. So there's, there's an error. What we'll do is 
we'll select one again. Make sure the top handle is also against this top circle or the top edge of the circle. That's perfect. Now, if you go back into preview, if I scroll down, as you can see, it seems as if these numbers are inside this actual circle. I think that looks really cool. And since this is new Morphic, so there's a little bit of depth and impression right here. It looks really, really good. I hope you liked today's video. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. Also hit that bell icon that really helps me out a lot. And also like this video if you did. I come up with such amazing content every Monday and Thursday, same time. I'll see you on Thursday. God bless.